Israel, Jordan and the Palestinian Authority are expected to sign a water cooperation agreement aimed at saving the rapidly drying Dead Sea. The agreement, to be signed on Monday, will build a pipeline to carry water from the Red Sea to the Dead Sea and provide drinking water to the region. The Dead Sea is dropping by as much as 1 meter, 3.3 feet, a year as the River Jordan is depleted for use in irrigation but critics fear the plan's impact on the Dead Sea's fragile ecosystem. Such a project has been under discussion for years, with peace talks between Israel and the Palestinians apparently stagnating. It offers the prospect of successful cooperation at a time of political difficulty, says the BBC's Kevin Connolly in Jerusalem. The agreement is scheduled to be signed on Monday at the headquarters of the World Bank in Washington DC. The project is expected to cost $250M $400M, pound $152M pound $244. Call for study. The Dead Sea is so rich in salt and other minerals that humans float naturally on the surface. The area around the sea has an established tourism and health industry because of the water's unique properties. But the Dead Sea is losing water rapidly with some fearing the Dead Sea could dry up entirely by 2050. The scheme will pipe water from the Gulf of Aqaba off the Red Sea to the southernmost edge of the Dead Sea. It will involve the construction of a desalination plant in Jordan, projected to yield 80 million 100 million cubic meters of water annually to Jordan, the West Bank and Israel. A water transfer deal will also see Israel supply water to Jordan and the Palestinian territories from the north of the sea. The project will also yield hydroelectric power for use in the desalination process. Environmental advocacy group Friends of the Earth Middle East has called for an environmental study of how the brine from the desalination plant should be treated before the project begins in earnest arguing it is unclear how brine from the Red Sea water will affect the Dead Sea's ecosystem.